Welcome back Pez Collectors! Today's video is going to be all about limited edition Pez, or at least that's what these are labeled as. Not saying that they are, not saying that they aren't. Just want to share with you three of them that I have here that I've gotten very recently. Unless you watch my live streams, you probably have not seen these on the channel yet. <laughs> and one of them I've never shown on the channel for sure. It's going to be a really fun one, so let's get started. First one I want to share with you is the Bitcoin Pez Dispenser and yes I finally did get it but I did not buy it. Tim he sent this to me and I did unbox it over on my live stream on Saturday like maybe two weeks ago now and thanks so much Tim for sending this to me I really appreciate it. It does look nice on the card I don't plan on opening it or anything keeping it on the card like this probably hanging on my Pez rack or something eventually but for now I've been keeping it up here because when people send me stuff I usually keep it up here for most of the stuff forever so far. <laughs> I guess eventually I have to take stuff and put it down with my big display but for now I keep everything up here so if you've ever sent me something then you know if you look really good you'll be able to see stuff like this little heart. Ah, can't point, can't point. This gnome. <laughs> <laughs> this egg, Easter egg, and this Sagsmit Pez I just got as well. The Bitcoin was sitting like right here and uh, have a Pez truck. <laughs> that says Aaron Clucks Pez on it. Aaron Panda. Probably forgetting something here, but if you ever sent me something, chances are it's behind me here. <laughs> but let's get back to the Bitcoin Pez here because I want to share this with you so you can take a closer look at it in case you haven't added it to your collection yet. So there you go, take a closer look, and it's pretty much just a hockey puck Pez, and it has the Bitcoin logo on it. It's orange and white hockey puck with the orange stem, and it has the three packs of orange candy. The card is very nice, it's black with the orange Bitcoin logo on it. The thing that still doesn't sit well with me is it does say limited edition here in the corner. These are still for sale. You can get them on walmart.com or if you just search, you know, Bitcoin Pez, it'll come up. And they're selling them for $29. It's like $29.99, I think. It says limited edition, but they've, you know, told us that they're making 30,000 of these, which still to me is not limited edition. <laughs> but the whole fact that I'm showing you all these Pez today is that we don't know the number of the other two Pez that I'm sharing with you, but they call these limited edition as well. So. It says limited edition, you know, buy it if you want it, but don't buy it because you think it's going to be like super limited. But here's the back of the card. This is what no one's seen before. It says eat candy, buy Bitcoin on it. <laughs> it's pretty fun. If you haven't gotten your Bitcoin Pez yet, you might want to go buy one. Or if you have, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I know a lot of people did buy these, but I know also a lot of people were like, I'm not spending $30 on a uh, limited edition Pez. But this is not the most expensive limited edition Pez I'm going to share with you today. So hockey puck number one. I'm going to say that. <laughs> because the next Pez here I'm going to share with you is called Chrome Latchner. It's another hockey puck. But Chrome Latchner, it's a concept store in Austria for fashion, hair, beauty, and lifestyle. It sounds like a really high-end department store if you ask me. But you can go to chromelatchner.com and look it up. But it's really hard to tell like anything about this Pez, but people are calling this limited edition, which I don't know. I don't think you can really call this limited edition, but people are, and people are selling this for crazy amounts of money, like on eBay and other people are selling it like in their shops and stuff like that. But there's nothing like no documentation on like how many that they've made, at least I can find. Also, I can't find anything about like how it was even sold or was it given away. But if there's only, you know, stores in Austria, or if there only is one store in Austria, then this is pretty hard to get, even though it might not be like limited edition, like a really low number. It still seems like an exclusive Pez. So that's what I would call this. Exclusive to Krohn Lachner, only sold in Austria, which makes it really hard to get because, you know, people not in Austria just can't go drive down to the store and pick one up. And plus, I don't know if they actually sold these at the store or if they gave them away if you bought so much or what these were even made for. Or maybe they gave them away to the kids. 
I don't know, for some certain day that you go shopping at the store. I don't know. But this is pretty nice. And when I bought this online, everyone's pictures are always like really light or really dark. And I didn't actually know what color this was going to be. But once it came, it's like a gray, but it has like a blue tint to it. I almost want to say it's like a silver metallic blue color. I don't know. It's really a nice color though. So take another look at the Krohn Lachner Pez. That's the Krohn Lachner logo there on top. And these do not come in a package. Like this Bitcoin Pez being a hockey puck, I'm really happy that it came in a package. But these, there's no packages. Like no one has these in packages. I've never seen them online in a package. But they do come with their own candy pack. So there you go. This is the Krohn Lachner candy pack that you'll get when you get one of these Chrome Lachner Pez has the logo there on it. It's like the same color almost as the Pez. It's a little bit more gray. I believe that these are actually made by Pez because I mean it looks like a real wrapper. It seems like it's actually sealed in there. It's weird that these don't have any packaging at all. They must have saved a lot of money by getting these just loose. And since I talked about the price for the Bitcoin Pez, I'll talk about the price for this Chrome Lachner Pez because I think it's a little bit absurd. It's probably a better Pez to buy if you were going to pick two of these though. I did pay $75 for this Chrome Lashner Pez. It doesn't come in a package. It does come with one fancy pack of candy. This one was $30. It comes on card. It comes with three regular orange packs of Pez candy. The Chrome Lashner one is also being sold like on eBay and in other people's pet shops. And I've seen it going for as high as $200. But I remember when it came out and uh, the guy I bought it from, he was wanting even more than $75. And I was like, that's crazy. <laughs> I'm not paying that. So finally I got them down to $75. I still think that's a lot. I did ask him how many of these were made and he said 500, which I don't know if that's, you know, 100% accurate or not. But if there were 500 of these Chrome Lantern Pez made and they're $75 each, that still is a pretty good price, I think, for these. So I think this is going to go up in value a lot more than this one. But I guess time will only tell. <laughs> and then the other limited edition Pez I want to share with you today is the Funko Pop Pez and it's Freddy Masked. And there on the sticker it says Funko 2023 Wondrous Convention Limited Edition. These did sell out. It might have taken maybe about a week or a little less for these to sell out on Funko.com. Which isn't too bad I don't think. But they didn't tell us how many that they were making. So these were for sale on Funko.com only. This one here with this sticker. There's another one I'm going to show you next. But this one here with this sticker was on sale on Funko.com for $8. It's now retired. And if you're like, Aaron, I missed out on that. Like, why did I not know about that? You know, follow me on social media. I'm Aaron Clicks Pez on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And when stuff like this goes for sale, I'll post about it or I'll put it in my story. So there's this one. Here you go, take a closer look at the Freddy Mask Funko Pop Pez. And this one's really nice. It does have the blue crown that matches the blue stem. Freddy does have a mask, I guess. It's supposed to be like a superhero. So if you're not familiar, Pez has made these Freddy Funko Pops with the crowns. And they usually give them out, like, I think at the San Diego Comic Con they've given them out before. There's different color stems and crowns. But those are really, really hard to get. But they finally have one that you can actually, you know, get for like $8 on Funko.com, which it was pretty easy to get, which I appreciate. <laughs> but then there's also this one. And this one, see how it has a different sticker. Wait, let me show you again. This is the one I already showed you. This is the new one. And see how the stickers are different? So the sticker here, that tells you that this one was only sold at WonderCon. So WonderCon just happened just, what, it's been maybe like three weeks now or so at the beginning of April. When you see the sticker like that, that means it was only sold at the convention. So usually when there's a Funko Pop Pez released for a special convention, like a comic convention, there'll be one that is sold outside of the convention with a sticker. And then there's another one that's sold inside the convention with a different sticker. So I did buy this one on eBay. I did pay $20 for it, which was a little bit more. I think the fact that these are limited edition, but they don't tell us how many that they're making. But these did sell out and these were only sold at the convention. I think it's still got to be a pretty low run. 
I wish someone at Pez could fill us in on how many Chrome Lantern Pez were made or how many of these Funko Pop Pez with the Freddy masked Pez were made because I'd like to know. Seems like sometimes they just use limited edition just willy nilly. But sometimes it makes sense, but they don't tell us how many are made. I don't know. <laughs> But since I recently did the video about the Bitcoin Pez, talking about the limited edition part to it, I thought this would make a really good video because these are all three ones that have just been released recently. The Chrome Lashner one was released like late in 2022, but it's still hard to find and it's still holding this price, you know, around $75, $100. Some people are selling it for $200 on eBay. But if you do want to buy one of these Chrome Lashner Pez, Please do not pay the $200 on eBay for it. Oh, and I forgot to mention that these aren't actually made by Bitcoin. Bitcoin has nothing to do with this. Their logo is not trademarked, so anybody can use the Bitcoin logo and sell it or do whatever they want with it. So there's a company called Pro Snackative Sales, and they had these made by Pez, so these aren't made by Bitcoin. So you can't get mad at the same thing about Bitcoin. I mean, don't get mad at Pro Snackative Sales. I appreciate what they're doing and you know, they're jumping on the opportunity to make some money, so I appreciate that. You know, the opportunity is there, so they took it. But, <laughs> this is not actually made by Bitcoin. But, I thought this would be a really great video to make, so hopefully you learned something today. Did you see my sneak peek on social media about what we, like, unboxed already from our giant Pez auction that came in the mail? Sitting behind me, maybe I should show you here. What are you doing, Greg? Yeah, get this ready for the live stream. What? what? Did, it, it's not Saturday. Oh, no, but it's in the box in the box in the box. Caught you. We always <laughs> pre-open them so that it goes fast in the live stream. You just can't look through it. Oh, all these peanuts. I know, don't, don't. Push this off the table. Did you buy peanuts? Is that what we bought? Apparently that's why it has to be a 20% auction premium so they can afford peanuts. <laughs> Alright, well here we go. Wait. I can open them up. Wait, aww. We have to wait till Saturday? We have to wait till Saturday. Sneak peek, sneak peek. I can't peek? even see anything in there. So we can do a sneak peek, I guess. A very quick sneak peek. Just whatever, whatever this one is. This one? Just to give people a... Uh, flavor of what's to happen. Hope this is when I pick that. I don't remember the ones you picked out. I, I mean, I hope this is one. I hope this is the, I don't know. I hope this is one that I really, 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 really. Oh. oh my gosh. It's not the one that my dad got. At least. But before I show them to you up close, we did buy some Pez at an auction and I'll talk more about it on Saturday here, but there was this Pez auction maybe a couple weeks ago now, and we bought quite a few Pez dispensers. <laughs> and they're all vintage, they're all super cool. They had really, really, really cool stuff that just went for like crazy amounts of money. But I'm pretty happy with the ones that we were able to get. There were quite a few people bidding on stuff. The ones here that we unboxed yesterday, cause it finally came in the mail after like two weeks, and Greg and I were like, I can't wait till Saturday. So we unboxed two rolls of like the bubble wrap in the box. I'll show you what we opened up so far. So far we got this truck. It should be a truck A. And you can tell because it has the one little wheel back here. And these old vintage trucks roll. Don't want to push it too fast or too hard. <laughs> because you never know how like... Uh, fragile these wheels can be anymore but whenever you're looking at trucks and you find ones with the back wheels that roll so the front wheels will always roll but the back ones don't always roll and these only have one in the back so let me show you the other ones and I didn't have any of these old vintage trucks in my collection and when these truck lots came up I was like great great let's get those and they went for a pretty good price I think we'll talk more about that on Saturday too there's also this one this one's brown 
cab with an orange back. I think this one's super cool. It reminds me of like, like a 70s color or something. <laughs> but this one also has the one rolling wheel in the back. This is a little bit newer truck. I think this must be a truck B. I'm not a truck expert yet, but I think I might have to become one. I really like these. But these also, both of the wheels roll in the back. This one's super cool though because it has like an, a green cab and it has blue above the wheels and then the yellow truck back. I don't know. Super cool. So I'm glad I was able to add some trucks and there might be some more trucks in the box. Got to come back Saturday. I also got this Pony Ground Pez. It's the blue head, red mane. It has white hair and then the yellow stem which I think is pretty cool. I recently did get two Pony Grounds and a glass live stream. I unboxed those. So we've been buying more ponies because I want to build like a little pony army because I'm kind of obsessed with these. <laughs> there are some really cool colored ones like purple, but they're pricey and I don't know if I'll ever get one of those. But there's a lot of different color variations you can get that aren't so expensive, but they're still a lot of fun and they're super cute. This one also has a really cool like yellow sleeve on the inside, which I like a lot. So there's a big box still full of a whole bunch of Pez. So if you want to see us unbox those, you know, come to the live stream this Saturday, 10 a.m. Central. Greg, my husband, joins me and it's here on YouTube. And we're going to unbox that box. And we have a few other boxes I've already been stacking down here below the table <laughs> as well. But that box from the auction house is going to be really, really cool stuff. So you're not going to want to miss it. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully you learned something more today about limited edition Pez. Join us on Saturday. Can't wait to unbox the rest of these. It's going to be so much fun. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you Saturday. Bye. All right, too.